Hey guys, me, like normal Americans, have a shitty metal screen door. Today, we're making one out of wood. Here we go. So welcome back. Uh, today's project, screen door. This is gonna be awesome. Today's wood of choice, redwood. Here we go. I've got uh, two by sixes. I've got three eight footers. I've got two by fours. I've got two of them. These are going to be my rails. I'm going to make a panel out of the bigger pieces. So uh, the stock that I've got here, uh, the reason I chose uh, the redwood was because it was cost effective and redwood is an amazing uh, exterior wood product to use. But the only downside is I've got to mill it up to the correct thickness. So what I want, I want uh, all my boards to be 7 eighths of an inch thick. Uh, you guys at home, uh, we'll have to size it to whatever size opening that you do have. So what we've got to do, I've got to mark my lines. I'm going to get these over to the bandsaw. I'm going to resaw them, get over to my planer and joiner, get them all trued up and squared up. Here we go. All right, guys, welcome back to the bench. So uh, the size of my door, I need it to be 80 and a half inches tall by 32 inches wide. So what I've gone ahead and done is uh, two by fours, uh, the eight footers, those are 96 inches. I want to take a few inches off of that. So I'm going to cut my two by fours down to 84 inches. That'll give me a little extra uh, room if I've got snipe on the joiner or on the planer. I'll be able to cut that off uh, at the end and get down to the appropriate size. So 84 inches is what I'm going to cut the two by fours down to. Those are going to be my rails. For my styles, the horizontal pieces, I'm going to cut those down to 32 inch sections. I'm going to need three of those, one at the top, one at the bottom, one in the middle. Uh, between the middle uh, style and the bottom style, I'm going to have uh, a raised panel that I'm going to make on the table saw. That's going to be a really cool addition uh, to the screen door. So uh, for my rails and for my recessed panels, what I want to go ahead and do, get a rough size down to 32 inches. I'm going to need three styles and I'm going to need three uh, two by six cut pieces for my raised panel. So let me go ahead and get over to the table saw. I'm going to get these roughed out and then we'll head over to the uh, joiner and the planer and we'll get them squared up. So we're at the bandsaw, get your safety glasses on, I've got some hearing protection. I've got my dust collection going, I'm going to have the bandsaw going, I want to protect those ears. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to feed this through freehand. I'm going to just stay on the outside of my line is the easiest way to do this and then we'll go ahead, we'll get our uh, stock cleaned up. Here we go. So now we're ready to get uh, our boards jointed. Uh, the way I want to do this is I'm going to take my chalk, I'm going to go ahead, run a line all the way down the board. That's going to let me know when all this chalk is gone, my board is flat. Here we go. passes here. Sweet. We've got one flat side. Let's get the 
the others flattened up. Yee yee! All right guys, so now that we've got one face uh, flat, let's go ahead, let's make an edge flat. We'll make a good 90 degree angle here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, hold our flat side. I've marked it with an X right there. I'm gonna go ahead, hold it up to my fence, and we're gonna run it through the machine. Uh, we're gonna run it till these two sides are 90, 90 degrees to themselves. Here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and make our two sides coplanar with one another. Uh The only thing left to do, grab our planer, we'll get these down to the appropriate size. Here we go. Right, so I've got my rigid planer set up. Uh, I'm gonna, I've am gonna, i got it set. I was going to go for 7 eighths, but I think that's a little too thick. Uh, I wanted a little leaner than that, so I'm going to just do normal 3 quarter is what I'm going to get out of this stock. I think that's going to be uh, appropriate for the screen door. So I've got my rigid uh, planer set to that depth. It's got a, a, a depth set gauge which I set it to and I forget it and I'll slowly work to it when it stops going down I've reached the depth required so uh, this is all a matter of turning it on and running your material through see you on the back end We got all our stock planed up, ready to go. We are square all the way around. And boy, does that feel good. 
So uh, what I've gone ahead and done is a little bit of a dry assembly of the screen door. I'm working on the garage uh, floor. I don't have enough bench space, so uh, I'm on the floor. So what I've done, uh, my bottom rail, my top rail, those are going to go at the top and the bottom, of course. Uh, this middle rail from the bottom here, I just measured up uh, 32 inches and I set that there. Uh, for the tenon on all three of my uh, styles here, I just measured down uh, three quarters of an inch and I measured up from the bottom three quarters of an inch and that's going to give me my tenon size. Uh, this is going to insert itself into the rail uh, one inch. So we've done that. Uh, for my panel here, uh, I've oversized the panel. Uh, remember we're uh, eliminating one inch from each corner here. So I just cut these down to 28 inches and uh, I've got to just glue them up and that'll be ready to go. Uh, we'll size the panel after we do our first assembly, after we get our mortises and tenons uh, cut. So let's go ahead, let's head over to the router, get that set up and we'll get the mortises ready and then we'll make the tenons to fit the mortises. The router set up, uh, I'm using uh, just a 3 8 uh, Bosch straight bit uh, here in the router. So what I've gone ahead and done, uh, this is just a, my test piece. So what I did was I centered the bit as best as I could. I found the leading and the trailing edge of my bit on my scrap. I ran it through one direction, I flipped it end for end, and I ran it through the other direction. That is going to give me a, a dead center mortise. And now uh, we're going to take our real pieces. We're going to start plowing out the material. Here we go. So, uh, we've got our mortise is cut. Uh, the only thing left to do on our rails is cut the slot uh, for the panel. That's going to go between the middle mortise and the bottom mortise on the two rails. Uh, for our center rail, we're going to also need a groove right down the middle here to receive the top of the panel, as well as the bottom uh, style is also going to need a groove right at the top to receive the bottom of the panel. We've got our panel uh, glued up. We just need to scrape the excess dried up glue on it and get it sanded up. So let me go ahead. We're going to set the router up with a quarter inch uh, spiral bit and we'll be able to cut the grooves in the two rails, the middle rail and the bottom rail. So we went ahead. Uh, we got the router set up. Uh, same setup as uh, before for plowing out the mortises, but now we're just making the groove for the panel. I've got a quarter inch uh, up spiral Bosch bit uh, in the router table here. Uh, I've gone ahead and marked the leading and trailing edge here. So now it's all a matter of just plowing out the material. Uh, for the rails uh, down at the bottom where the panel is going to be in between those two mortises, uh, just go ahead find your mortise, put the router to start inside of the mortise, and then go ahead and just plow out the material mortise to mortise. Uh, for the styles, it's all just a matter of running your material all the way through. Uh, super easy. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's get this uh, router table kicked on and let's get the grooves plowed out. So now we've got the table saw set up to make some tenons. Uh, the way I did that, uh, I took a scrap block here. I set this distance one inch away from the tip of my blade here. Uh, that's going to give me the clearance so I don't get any kickback. I don't want to be using the fence. 
So I've got my pieces there. I ran my scrap through. The tenons fit great. Let's go ahead. Let's run the material. out of our tenons. Uh, what I did was I took my square pencil, I just marked down three quarters of an inch and then I cut this little square out with the saw. Uh, this redwood, it does chip easily so I wanted to prevent as much chip out as possible. Now I've got a little shoulder here that's going to back it out. Now I'll be able to go ahead go with my dado stack. I'm going to set that up three quarters of an inch and I'm going to be able to clean up all the shoulders on my uh, three styles here. So uh, let me go ahead, let me get my uh, dado stack here set to three quarters of an inch and then we'll be able to run the rest of our materials. <laughs> got our tenons cut I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take a rasp since the router bit that I'm using uh, leaves a circle in the mortise I'm gonna go ahead and uh, round my tenons off here and these are gonna be able to slip right in so take your rasp and just go ahead and round these that's all you need to do super easy just like so. Cool. Done. So let's go ahead. I've got the table saw set up with my panel cutter. Let's get that panel cut. Alright guys, so the time has come for us to raise this panel. So what I've gone ahead and done I took my square, I set my blade to a quarter inch above the table. I want the panel to start, I want to be at least two inches in from the top of each side. So I'm going to go ahead and set my fence right there. Cool. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to run all four corners through the blade. Sweet. So that's going to be the outline of our raised panel. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get my jig and we'll get the angle cut. We need our panel to be at least a quarter of an inch thick down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to go ahead and do since my uh, square is already set to quarter of an inch I'm going to make a mark down here at the bottom just like so and then I'm going to take my ruler my ruler and I'm going to connect if you guys can see this I'm going to connect this mark which is a quarter inch up from the back to the start of my recess there just like so perfect and that's going to give us the angle to set the blade here so now We're going to take our little angle finders. And we're going to set the angle. Cool. And once we get this angle set, that's the bevel that we're going to use to set the angle cool. on the table saw. There it is. That's our angle.
So uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the table saw and we'll finish up this panel. This is my uh, little homemade panel cutter. Uh, what it is is just a couple pieces of wood uh, that hug my table saw fence here and then alongside that I've got another board that I screwed onto that that's a lot taller than the fence that's on my table saw and what this is going to allow me to do is when I'm cutting this panel it gets a bit dodgy down in here there isn't enough room for the panel to fit uh, with the saw blade so there's a potential of this getting sucked down into that the whole thing turns into a disaster and you ruin your work so what this allows me to do is I could bring this back like so and I could actually clamp my work to my panel cutter way up here like that so like that and like that and now I'll be able to push my work through the saw blade it keeps my hands away from the saw and it gives me a perfect cut every single time this is pretty cool so let me go ahead get the saw turned on get these four corners set and we'll have a race panel in no time so there it is there's my roughed out panel now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna unclamp my door I'm going to dry fit everything, uh, I've got to sand everything down, and then we'll go ahead, glue it up, put this thing together. Guys, we did it! We have a screen door, how amazing is that? So, uh, I've got it all glued up, I've got three clamps on it, one at the top, one at the middle, and one at the bottom. We've got our panel in here, it fits beautifully, it sits just proud of the door, I think it has a really nice stance to it, I think it looks really nice. Uh, this is going to be the opening here. Here on the back side for the screen, uh, since we do have kids running in and out of the house, uh, we're going to have to replace the screen quite often. So I was going to actually cut a recess in here with my rabbiting bit and uh, inset a screen with the molding, but I decided not to do that. I think it's going to be best for me at this point to actually just make the screen. And I'm going to just screw it on from the back side so if it does break, or if I need to replace it, I could just unscrew it, go ahead, fix it, and put a new one up. But that's where you guys at home can make it your own. You guys can do whatever you like with it. Uh, the only thing left for me to do on this is uh, sand it down to 220, uh, put some uh, outdoor uh, oil on it, and call it good and hang it. I'm not going to hang it in this video. Uh, that'll take too long. That'll be a whole separate uh, video. That'll be part of the how-to segment of uh, what I do every now and again. So yeah, there's the screen door. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be coming out with these videos weekly. I surely do appreciate it. Thank you.